This is the Timmy Greens Superfood Blend. It has matcha, spirulina, wheatgrass, and so many other good greens. Any leafy green you can think of is probably in this green powder. I love green powder, but I like making cocktails with it even more. So what I've been doing lately is I've been mixing orange juice and beet juice with it, and I'll show you how it goes. I've been running out of my beet juice because I've been drinking this a lot lately. I'm not a big fan of drinking beet juice by itself, but it's incredible for your blood. I just add my beet juice to it just like this. That is literally enough because it's it's super strong. So don't, don't use too much of this. And be careful because it can stain your clothes. However stressed you are is how much you need to add. Then I go ahead and I add my matcha green powder. Add it in. There's a compartment inside for you to put tea bags for the day. I mean, that is absolutely amazing. This tastes so good. So good. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the content. Hey love, it's your girl Rachel here. So ladies, I'm here with my baby girl Charlotte Elise. That is my boo, okay? She goes by Beamia, she goes by Tua, she goes by Char Bar, Char Bear, Charlie Barley, Charlotte. So many different things, but I named her Charlotte because Charlotte means free woman and she is just like that she is fierce she's bold she's vibrant she is a beautiful little black girl and i'm here to show you guys how i grew her hair so first thing i do to start off her hair is i get it nice and wet i love to style toddlers hair wet because hairstyles last a lot longer and it gets their shafts open really well to receive all the products that you put in it thereafter so some brief history about Charlotte's curl type and hair pattern and just her hair's natural behavior is she's somewhat of a 3C. Her strand size is fine to me and her hair density, it's kind of medium. Also, um, I believe her porosity is very high, which is very common in toddlers as they do not have their mature adult hair just yet. So the products that I'm going to be using are all going to be listed in the description box below and I'll make sure I give you a picture of what they all look like. I love using this product on Charlotte's hair. It works magic on just loosening up the knots and tangles that she has in her hair and I actually just take time and finger detangle and let that product really penetrate into her hair shafts so that detangling does not have any tears whatsoever. As you can see this Shea Moisture Leave-In or Rinse Out Conditioner uh, it's doing magic on Charlotte's hair. It's penetrating those shafts and it's looking very, very hydrated. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just finding all of the big obvious knots and I'm taking them out by hand. Those ends are really delicate in baby hair so I make sure that I take them out before combing through her hair with any type of detangler. Because my toddler does not have her adult hair yet, I make sure that I do her hair very strategically, not adding too much tension and definitely not styles that require tightness and pulling of any kind. So noticed I am finished detangling her hair with my fingers before I put any Denman comb or tangle teaser in her hair but the detangler of my choice for my baby's hair is the deluxe wide tangle teaser. Um, I find that she loses a lot less hair than with the Denman brush. There's a lot less crying. As you can see it just rakes through her hair so easy. Rarely taking out any hair to be honest. Um, and then after I comb out each section, I just loop it around my fingers as you saw before and do the next piece. You see me combing my hands uh, as I comb her hair just to make sure that everything's going all the way through and that I'm really looking at where the knots are so that I can target them correctly without any ripping or tearing. So now I'm just going to proceed to part her hair with my knitting needle. Uh, this is nice and bulked at the end so it's no scraping or scratching. She's perfectly fine as you can see there's still no tears whatsoever she's watching her coco melon living her best life i love to make sure that whenever i do her hair that it's a great experience for her that she doesn't hear me complaining about her hair's texture how it's hard how it's difficult to do and i know some of you guys are like well girl she got 3c hair she's considered to have good hair but i've also done 4c hair and the results have always been the same no crying loving the result and not having to sit down for hours to get a nice style. 
So the best advice I could possibly give you guys about growing your baby's edges is get into some crown braids or some crown flat twist. I found that a lot of women struggle with their edges growing and staying thick because of things that were done to their hair while they were young. So what I like to do is make sure that I do a nice flat twist in front of her hair or a nice braid in the front of her hair just so all of that hair is not being pulled back to the bun creating tension and making her edges thin from a very young age. One of the things I hate the most is to see little girls with bumps on the side of their heads because their ponytails are pulled entirely too tight and their braids are too tight and they scratch it. I mean there's literally nothing that bothers me more in the natural hair community or just amongst black girls and their hair than that. So as you can see, I just added a little bit of extra water and product to the front of her hair. This is just to grab all those little hairs that are long enough to go into the braid and making sure that I leave the ones that are not long enough to go just yet. I'm braiding down, as you can see, there is no flinching, there's no crying, there's no fighting. She is ever so patiently watching her Coco Melon as I braid down her hair. She's also a pretty good sport too. So I usually style Charlotte's hair based off of her age and her patience. As you can see, um, I don't really get into beads or rubber bands. I think it's just way too much for her. Um, I want her to enjoy the simplicity of her own hair and just feel like that's enough before I start bedazzling her hair and doing so much extra with it. So as you can see, I'm getting ready to part the other side and just do another crown braid in the front. Doing this helps her hair last a little bit longer. I could usually get about two to three days out of her hairstyles and that is without using any bonnet or head scarf when she goes to sleep. Um, one thing I like to do is use the standard size scrunchies for her hair. I found that using rubber bands collect a lot of lint around the base of her braids and her ponytails and so I just got rid of using them all together and I couldn't be happier. However, your girl would love to find some bobos. I've been looking all over the place and I cannot find any bobos. I feel like those were the best little accents for a little black girl's hair. So after using a very soft bristle brush, I like to go in with a nice thick curl defining cream. I like the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream because it's cheap, it works on everybody's hair in the family, and uh, it creates a nice little cast on top of all of her styles. This just makes the style last a little bit longer. People have been hating on Cantu products, honey, and I do not know why. I'm like, why y'all hating so bad? Like. I feel like it works really good. There's some tried and true things. But anyway, this is Charlotte's length. Uh, I believe her hair is 8 to 10 inches all around her head. Um, and it's been thriving with the new things that I've been doing with it. Just in case you're wondering, I started styling Charlotte's hair intentionally around the age of about one years old. I kind of just let her hair be. Um, I let it get wild. I let it go crazy sometimes. Um, and I also got a lot of comments about me doing um, ponytails and bobos and clips and twists and things in her hair to keep her looking quote unquote nice all the time. And that was often very difficult to hear. But as you can see, Charlotte's hair is thriving because I let her hair be baby hair until it was time for it to be styled. The mentality that we have about presentability in the black community can be very toxic on a little girl. Um, I don't think that we have to do all that we do with our hair. We do it because we want to do it. And I never want to convey to my baby that she has to sit down in a chair for hours to look nice, to look ready, to look presentable to the world. Just let these babies be. Let their beauty grow. Let their confidence grow in themselves. But that cannot happen if we constantly feed our kids ears with the idea that they need to do 10 times as much to look beautiful. So mamas, as I'm wrapping up, I just wanted to let you guys know that I believe that head tenderness is a myth. Boom, I said it. Now, if it's not a myth, I strongly believe that the biggest issue is that many of us just don't know how to detangle hair properly. As you can see, this two-year-old child did not cry or flinch once when I did her hair. And that's how the hairstyling process should be with little girls as they grow up. I want her to love this experience with me and I hope you guys love this experience with me. So thank you so much for watching ladies. Subscribe and let me know 
some concerns you have about your baby's hair in the comment section and I will make more videos for you and give you the best advice possible at growing little baby girl's hair. So mamas, I love to do hairstyles that I can reconstruct. So she goes from a twisted bun to twists that are hanging down and when her hair gets old, I take out the braid in the front and take out the twist and she has this cute hairstyle as well. And that's literally the whole week with just one initial hairstyle. So ladies, that's a wrap. Remember, it's all about gentle, simple, and easy equals happy mama and a happy baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. Engage me in the comment section. God bless you. God bless you. Subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Kiss. Mm. <laughs> Kiss right there. Go ahead. Mm. <laughs>